Well, good morning, everybody, and sorry about the uh, odd time here, but I wanted to take a minute. I wanted to take a minute and jump on uh, and have our power up today. Uh, and I know that uh, uh, as we consider it, uh, and uh, um, we are going to I'm taking the young people to on a canoe trip here today, uh, and we're excited about that trip. So I wanted to just take a moment before we left here, get on with you. Uh, and look into some of the scriptures really quick here this morning. And so join me if you would, and we'll take a look at, at that uh, at 1 Corinthians chapter number 14. Once again, would encourage you to hit that share button so that others can jump on as well. All right. I don't know how long we'll be here this morning, uh, but I do want to just encourage you along a couple lines here today as we consider 1 Corinthians 14. Let's look at verse 1. It says, follow after charity. Once again, we see that command uh, to, to love Follow after charity, it says here in verse number one. Uh, above all, it says, and now abideth faith, hope, and charity in chapter 13, verse 13. But the greatest of these is charity. And then we see that challenge, follow after charity. Be rooted in love. It says, follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that he may prophesy. What's the point of of charity, what's the point of the spiritual gift? It's to communicate the message of the gospel. Uh, we see that word prophesied there, to communicate Jesus' love to mankind. Uh, for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. Uh, for no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Okay, now, speaking of that unknown tongue, uh, and uh, we see that reference to tongues and tongues being referred to also in this chapter uh, in needing an interpreter uh, in that. And so what Paul's saying here, guys, what's the, what's the point of tongues if you can't understand what's being said? Uh, and the speaking in, in tongues here, the unknown tongue, you're speaking to God, not to man. And Paul is saying, hey, I want you to communicate the gospel. I want you to communicate the love of Jesus to mankind. And you can't do that in an unknown tongue. You look at verse number three, it says, but he that prophesieth, speaking unto men to, look at this, edification, exhortation, and comfort. Three very important words in regards to the scriptures. We look to build people up, encourage people in the Lord. Uh, also, uh, when people are doing wrong, to teach them from the word of God how to do right. And then when we go through life's hard, hard uh, situations and circumstances, we seek to comfort uh, one another there speak to comfort and so we see the significance of prophesying here in regards to communicating the word of God uh, and man that is that Paul says hey that is what's important that's a result of having the love for mankind the love for the brethren is the fact that you desire to edify to exhort and to comfort and Paul says that's what we need to be doing in the church. That's what we need to be doing with our fellow brethren, uh, uh, exhorting, uh, edifying, and comforting. Okay, And then uh, verse number four, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, uh, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. Once again, that focus on others, not so much ourself. Uh, speaking of the tongues here, uh, that, whoa, look at that guy. Listen to that guy speak in tongues there. Wow, that's incredible. Once again, if you can't if you can't understand it, you can't hear it. What's the point uh, of it? Paul is saying, verse number five: I would that ye also spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh in the tongues, except he uh, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. Okay, uh, and there you go. Um, that thought there of having an interpreter to speak in tongues because it's not about me it's about the lord it's not about my message it's about the message of the gospel it's about the message of jesus christ and so uh, that's what i want to communicate today listen just think about us now we know that the tongues have ceased but think about us here in 2023 all of us are uniquely gifted okay by god to accomplish his task to accomplish his will. It's important for us to find out what his task and what his will for our life is, okay? That's important for us to find out. But even in the importance of the gifts and talents that we receive from the Lord, they must be rooted in love. And our goal should be, ought to be, 
to communicate the message of the gospel. And and not everybody can can get behind a pulpit and preach. Not anybody can get up in front of. Uh, not everybody can just get up in front of people and talk. But you know what? We can all be kind. We can all show love. Uh, and we can all foster foster a spirit, foster an atmosphere uh, that uh, that promotes the preaching and teaching of the gospel. Foster an atmosphere that breaks down the barriers that people come come into the house of God with. Uh, and people are ready to receive the word of God because they've experienced the love of God's people. Okay, that uh, is so very important. You know, I believe this: the individual that comes into the house of God, okay, uh, and desires to get right with God, the individual that trusts Christ their Savior in the church, okay. Uh, think about this: their path. Uh, uh, to growing in the relationship with the Lord or salvation begins in the parking lot when people greet them and welcome them, shake their hand as they come into church, try to encourage them, get to know them, uh, and then obviously leading into the preaching of the Word of God, you've got the fellowshipping, you've got the music, and uh, or not, not just the music, but the worshiping of God, the heart being turned to worshiping the Lord, uh, and all of that points to the message of the gospel, okay? So listen, everybody, do your part. Be friendly. Welcome people to church. Encourage people in the Lord. Uh, exhort and, and uh, edify and comfort, okay? Uh, and we're going to end there today. I know we're a little short uh, uh, in regards to time-wise, but I think that's a natural ending spot at the end of verse number five.